Okay, click on the link that we sent you in the email and that will download to a folder on your computer. Double click on that once it's finished downloading and you'll see the file. Double click on that and it'll start the install process. Click on I've read and agreed, install. Now very importantly, untick storage service. Then carry on. Okay, that'll go away. And then click install, that'll go away and start to install. Right, run smart PCs. After a few seconds it'll appear and, and annoyingly on a Windows computer it pops it up behind other windows that you've got opened as you'll see. There it is. Click on the black thing. Okay, now enter a password. This is a pointless exercise but, do it, but you have to do it. So put in a password, enter it twice otherwise it won't let you proceed. Enter the same password twice that is. Once you're happy then click on um, the checkbox underneath and it will automatically log in so you'll never have to enter that password again. So go next, once you've done that, auto login after registration. Again another pointless exercise, just put the letter A in each of these is the quickest way to go. And just go next. Okay, now the program will actually start and annoyingly uh, you'll get a little pop-up which prevents you from doing anything. So you have to get rid of that. Click on the X button and now we're ready to proceed. Okay, so click on the Add button as per the email. Now put in a device name, whatever you like. We'll call it your CCTV. It doesn't matter what name. And then select SN because we're going to connect using a serial number. And then enter the serial number. Just copy and paste from the email I sent you. And then put in the username and password. And once you put in the username and password, uh, then you click on save and continue. And once you've done that, click on cancel to get rid of that box. A few seconds later, up in the uh, device status, you'll see that go to a green circle and the word online will appear and you're ready to go. So now click on the plus button and that'll get you to the main menu screen with all the icons. Really the only two that you're ever worried about are live view and playback. So let's click on live view and you'll see the name of your device there. So just double click on the name and you'll see your cameras. And then if you want to close the program down, do it any time you like. It doesn't affect the system. And it'll always, it's very polite, it'll always ask you if you really, really want to quit. And there we have it.